guys, and welcome to Mark's Speed. Today we're looking at the Plano Guide Series, found on either side here, and then the Plano Weekender Series. All right, guys, so we're going to dive in. So first thing to note is the Plano Guide Series is kind of the higher end tackle bag offered by Plano. I think it's probably the top end. Um, so with that higher end, you kind of get some nice features. Um, so some things that come with the Plano Guide Series that are not going to come with the Weekender Series. So they both come with a solid base um, for both of your guide series or any of the guide series are going to have that feature. The Weekender series, it has kind of a thicker plasticky bottom, um, but it's still kind of a fabric. It's not a solid bottom. So that's something to consider. Um, another thing that's different between the Weekender and um, guide series is the top. The guide series come with what they call is the drop zone. So like this is the 3700XL. It's got three magnets in there. Um, same for the 3700. It also has three magnets at the top. I do find myself using this, it's a nice feature. Is it a selling point on a tackle bag? I don't think so. Um, that being said, um, so what we're gonna compare is, this is my current bag, the 3700XL, um, that I'm using primarily. It has pretty much all of my tackle, maybe not all of my soft plastics, but pretty much everything I need when I go fishing. Um, it's a little bit bigger, but the 3700 Weekender Series and the 3700 um, Guide Series are what we're gonna compare. A little bit more. Um, so we can get kind of an in-depth look. So for both of these, um, we can fit a 3700 box in the front. Or sorry, this is a 3600 in the 3700 bag. Um, now this one uh, comes with a 3600 in the front with your guide series. Now inside the bag as well, you're going to have your 3700 boxes. If I can get this open here. Now the way that it stacks in here is you get one flat on top. And then you get your four underneath. So you get four 3700s and one 3600. What's nice about the guide series is it comes completely full of boxes. The same cannot be said for the Weekender series. It only comes with two. Now, it can only fit four, but it only comes with two. Um, so that's something to consider. The um, guide series is obviously more money, but you're getting it completely full of boxes. Same with my 3700XL. It came with... Um, completely full of boxes. Now, if you're gonna change them out or you already have some, it's not a big deal for you. But if it's your first tackle bag, you're looking at you know your first tackle storage solution, it might be a considering factor for you. Now, some other things to note. The top of this, um, the fabric itself of the whole bag is a little more um, flexible, if you will, versus this one is a lot more rigid. I'm really having to flex it. And, um, I don't know if they're just putting something in there, but it helps the tackle bag hold its shape if you have nothing in it, which I find um, rather nice. Um, another thing is both of these have pretty much the same compartments all the way around um, that you can put different items in. Um, so like the front pocket, for example, is just open. You notice there's nothing in here, no little pockets or anything like that, um, which isn't really a big deal. Now, that being said, with your guide series, um, it has a little zipper pouch in the back, has this little carabiner attached with a little waterproof thing if you want to put your phone in. I never have with mine either. Um, but so that's kind of a nice feature. Now, the zippers on the guide series um, are quite a bit bigger. They have these nice pull um, straps on them. Then like these are more of your standard size zipper on the front three pouches. And then you get a little bit bigger zipper on the main pouch, but um, the guide series has larger zippers on everything, um, which is nice. Now, for your strap for this one, uh, to carry it around, it's just a solid strap. There's no padding, no nothing. Um, it does adjust. Very simple, very basic. Again, why the price point is low. Now, with our guide series here, boom, we get a nice strap. It's got a nice padded um, deal for you. It's a longer strap, and it'll get quite a bit longer. It also has clips on both sides. Boom, we could unclip it if we wanted to to take it off. Now, moving to the back of the bags, this one has nothing. You have a nice little pocket here. The Velcro, you could put a few items. It's not very big, but if you had something thin or something flat you wanted to put in the back, you could. So, between these two tackle bags, some things that I would say to consider. You know, I looked at this and I was like, dang, that's a very affordable price point. It's a very good first bag. Um, and I almost, I did end up buying it. I think I'm going to return it for this bag um, just because of some of the features that I wanted and I just wanted it to last. Like I've had my 3700XL for quite a while now and it still looks great. Still functions perfectly, haven't had a single problem. 
Um, and so I see some things on this that after a while could wear and tear if you fish a lot. You know, some of these smaller zippers on the front three, I think this top zipper is going to be fine for a long term. Um, you know, a padded strap is kind of something I like. I might be carrying my bag a ways if I'm creek fishing or something like that. Um, that being said, this is a much heavier bag than this bag because of all those other features of the hard bottom, the drop zone on top, the just kind of thicker material that it's made of. Um, but there is a reason that it costs more and it gives you those nicer features. So I do think it's worth that cost. And if you're interested in using one um, a bag more often, then it might be the route that you want to go. But yeah, if you guys have any more questions or comments, just leave them below. I'll try to answer them. But uh, it kind of gives you a look at the differences between your Weekender series that Plano offers and the Guide series and how much more features you get for your more money. So thank you for watching.